Thank you, John Brady. First driver and car out on the racetrack today for the two East top 10 of 92. The number 16 VP Commodore, Alan Grice, 50 years of age, lives on the Gold Coast, MP now, the member for Broadwater. Australian sports sedan and GT champ, look at those years, first at Bathurst in 86 and 90, runner up here last year, also the winner of the Bathurst 12 hour last year, and it's his 20th Bathurst start. Alan Grice. Expect something special from uh, Grice in the number 16 car that he will share with Wynn Percy. Here he comes along pit straight. Wait for the cheer on top of the mountain for the Holden and the Falcon boys today. This oh, little crowd. industrial. Oh, he gets really sideways coming over the ripple strips. I think I saw a bit of bodywork come off the back. Oh, no, it's off the front right. of the car. He's broken the front spoiler. That won't do the aerodynamics no. any good. Grice getting very wide coming out hill corner on the way up mountain straight. The roar of this V8, 7,500 RPM. Punching out about 500 brake horsepower. These guys have had difficulty getting this car set up the way they like it during the week. But Alan Grice, the specialist in this one lap screaming formula. Well, it'll be a shame if he spoiled his chances here at the start, but uh, it's not going to phase him any. He's still going to put the boot into it. If he puts the boot into the Queensland politicians, the way he's putting the boot into this, there'll be some fun in the Queensland Parliament. Look at Alan Grice, hard at work in the office of the HRT Commodore, car 16. There's enormous crowd on top of the mountain. Let out a big cheer as Grice comes across. Goes across the white line using all the track he's got. Drifts the car out, gets a little bit unstable. Touch of the brakes as he comes through McPhillamy Park. Look at him picking up the front yeah. wheel through there. Up on the ripple strip. Coming down through Castrol. Straight lines the corner, down through the S's, down toward the dipper. Split time, 1.13. Two, four, six, and those times will become more and more relevant as the other nine competitors come down. Grice screaming the V8 hard under brakes into Forest Elbow. Out of Mazda Forest Elbow. This is where the power of the new VP Commodore pulls it into sixth gear. Speeds in excess 290 kilometers an hour. The car gets a little light over that second bump. He's flat to the boards here, little lift through that very demanding right hander, hard under the brakes, working this car extremely hard. 158, 159. Oh, he got it sideways out of there too. Not Desperate. the tidiest of laps for Alan Grice. I don't think he'd be too happy about that. His qualifying time yesterday was 216.30. Let's see what he can do here. Gricey final corner, green flag for the BP Commodore. And Gricey brings it across the line. Alan Grice, first car to run today, and there is his time. Two minutes, 16.215. Alan, a little bit untidy at the start, still marginally quicker. Yeah, just one bad corner. And then I lost them down, downforce on the front, which means it had understeered for the rest of the lap. But all things considered, that's what we've got. So tomorrow's a 1,000 kilometres.